Joe Seven coming at you on another video. I just got home from work like two minutes ago, but I thought I would share with you uh, a piece of piece of gear I just got like yesterday. It is the Biltwell XFL Seven. Uh, you can call it a sissy bar bag, candle bar bag, uh, kind of whatever you want. Now, I bought this because I was getting, I'm getting rid of the stock seat for my Fat Bob. So that means I can't use the throwover um, saddlebags that I was using because now I'm getting a solo seat uh, for comfort and all that good jazz. And nobody's riding on the back. My wife's got her own bike. So um, I picked up this little, this little bag here for. Um, 60 bucks are still on Amazon, uh, so that link will be in the description. Um, it's a neat bag, um, so let's start with the outside of it. Um, it's got these straps right here, so you can put like a bed roll or a jacket or tool tool roll right there and hold that. Um, so this thing is completely covered in um, molly, so you can attach things to it. You just kind of stick it in between the things here, right there, and then you can attach all kinds of things. Um, I know Thrashing Supply has uh, like little uh, gas bottles that have a little molly pouch, and you put that on here if you're selling sissy bag or what, sissy bar or something like that. So that's cool. Um, so you have one pocket in the front right here. You have another pocket in the back. So. Front pocket, it's not bad. You could fit, you know, some spam cards in there or uh, your insurance or something like that. Um, rear pocket is pretty decent as well, especially if you're playing a sissy bar. Then you've really got uh, some some good stuff to put in there, good space. And then if you want to, to attach it, um, it kind of stands out, but it's not bad. They include these leather um, straps here that. Uh, Four points of attachment so it's really not going to go anywhere and then if you are afraid you can probably like put a cord in between here or something like that just for added um, stability or keeping it there um, so this is um, it's like a nylon Cordura fabric so it's I would call it water resistant but not but not waterproof um, so, if you don't know, the Biltwell Exfil 7, um, Exfil meaning to, uh, it's like a military term, to get out of somewhere quickly. Um, also, so the, that's the Exfil part. And the 7 is due to how they measure uh, how much can go in a bag. So, if you had, for instance, the Biltwell Exfil 7, um, I didn't mention it, but it does have like a YKK zipper, so it's really, really tough. And you can do it with gloves because it's got this uh, pull string, so it's real, real easy. Um, so in here, you got, uh, first you got this high-vis orange, so you can really see what's in there. But seven comes from the fact that you can fit seven 12-ounce cans in here, whether that be beer, soda, or what have you. I mean, if you use those little dainty Miller Lite cans or whatever, you can probably fit more in here, but who's drinking that? Tuh! But uh, yeah, so you got a good space. Um, and it is, you, it's got drain holes at the bottom. So here and here. Um, so if you had some ice in there for whatever reason to keep your beer cold, it'll just like drain out. Um, and it'll keep them cold. So. This bag's pretty good. I, I usually just keep um, a small bag of stuff in here. I have like uh, my insurance. Um, I have asthmatic so medicine, stuff like that. Um, I keep that in here. Um, so far, I put it on there yesterday. Um, I had it on my handlebars. Um, it worked pretty good this morning. Uh, on the way home, I got up to, you know, I was in the, the 80s, you know, just zooming home. And I noticed, you know, the bag kind of floated up like this. I mean, it didn't go anywhere. And it's not a big deal. But if it's not uh, 
tight enough or in a you know in the best place it'll kind of move on you like this and it's not a big deal it's not going anywhere um, so I'll probably end up putting it on my sissy bar uh, here shortly so what's gonna happen yeah so I'm gonna attach it to my sissy bar all right guys we got the uh, I got the built well XFL 7 bag attached to the sissy bar so let's take a look and see what it looks like all right uh, now so there you go I got it all attached um, I know what you're thinking man you have a black bike why do you have a chrome sissy bar the reason I have a chrome sissy bar is because they were doing like 70% off of some back stock uh, parts so I got a thing for 50 bucks plus the hardware. So I got all that for 100 bucks. That's why I have a Chrome Sissy bar. But back to the uh, back to the bag. So it's all attached. Um, you see, it, it sits uh, pretty center. I mean, the back the bike is is tilted, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so like I said, I'll get to when I get the new seat. It'll kind of just sit on here, and I'll get it'll sit on the fender, and then I'll just like get some plastic. Uh, plastic stuff to uh, protect the fender but um, yeah so here you see the so actually it's got multiple points of uh, attachment right here so here's one and here's one over here and then I have these two um, here and then these ones uh, right here are through the molly so it's not gonna go anywhere I mean it might go left and right but it's it's not gonna go very far so, I dig it. Um, like I said, it'll be a good place to store stuff. And I have a jacket. Well, if I have a jacket or something, you can put it right there. Tool pouch, whatever. Uh, if your stuff in there, you can add stuff to the side of it. Like I said, thrashing supply or whatever whatever you can find. You can put up there. Um, so, yeah. That's uh, what's going on, guys? Um, I'm on my way to work, but I was looking at the bag, and uh, I noticed that there was another way to attach it to my sissy bar. So I did that real quick. So let's take a look at that. So as you can see, I just strapped it over the the sissy bar right here with the straps, and then for added uh, staying power. I just used the leather straps to uh, also strap strap it to the uh, sissy bar there, so it should uh, it shouldn't go anywhere. Is is the moral of the story? Because I mean, even if it did hit a bump, it can't really come up, um, and it can't really go side to side. So it's it's on there pretty snug. I mean, you can do it either way. Um, I would say these are for like if you're using for your handlebar only, but um, if you're going to use a sissy bar, definitely use the straps here and add add the leather straps. So back to the back to the video now. Bye. <laughs> that there is the Xfil Seven uh, bag by Biltwell. Um, I do. I love it. I love it so far. Um, I'll ride with it for a little bit, a little while, and then I'll give you guys another um, little checkup on it. But um, first impressions, it's a plus bag attaches well. Molly, I love that part. Um, it fits the bike. They, I think they have do have it in different colors, but of course I have a black bike, so I got a black bag. Um, I don't carry a lot, but what I do carry fits in the bag, so definitely worth the money. Like I said, you can attach stuff to it, left, right, back and top. You could fit seven cans of beer in there. I mean, what else can you ask for right there? Um, yeah, all around a good bag. Like I said, the link in the description um, for, for the Amazon link. Um, definitely check it out if you're in the uh, market for like a, a smaller bag. They do make uh, bigger bags, XL80, stuff like that. Um, but definitely check them out. So with that,
West Coast Southern is out. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.